I was always turning it back into business. The biggest capital asset is a human capital or human asset. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Our corporate game changer for today is Yemi. He's an accountant and consultant. His career has spanned through several big four firms as well as Maersk and Access Bank PLC. After working in all these places, he went ahead to start his own consulting and audit firm called BVS Professional Services and he now houses a team of 40 young and smart professional auditors and consultants and they're changing the game in Nigeria's consulting and audit space. Welcome with me, Yemi Abalu Johnson. Hi, Yemi. Hello, Shane. How are you today? I'm very good. Oh, you How look you? good. I, 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 I like a man in blue. Wow. There's something about it. <laughs> I'm blushing now. Yeah, yeah, but blacks, I, blacks don't blush. I can't see the red, but that's fine. All right, we, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today. Nice and one. I know I'll be learning a lot, actually. You know, you, you, why you amaze me is you've had a very healthy, you know, healthy knowledge build in the consulting space and also, you know, in audit. You've worked with several, you know, sort of companies from the multinationals to the local companies. You've seen it all, Yemi. And then you went ahead to start your own firm that is providing the same service. But that must have been a big leap, you know, having done that with firms that have the name, the brand, everything. Then you jumped ship and started your own brand, vying for the same sort of jobs. What was that like for you? <sighs> That um, it's not a tough question, but it's a question that gets me down memory lane. Okay. And I'll tell you what I mean. Each time I was told this thing is impossible, I tell myself, then I'll do it mm. as a young man. So it's a natural motivation for me. Amazing. You know, I'm like that as well. When I was wow. going to start my fashion brand, the jewelry brand, Blanche Glam. One of the things that spurred me to start was actually I told someone about it and then he said, that can't work in Nigeria. Forget about it. And you know, that made, I said, you know what, I'm going to show you it can work in Nigeria. So I know what you mean when you say, when they tell you it's impossible, it actually stares you up. Continue. I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm, sure you, I'm sure you get that feeling. I know what you mean. Yeah, because um, way back, when I was in Deloitte in 2004, I told a senior colleague of mine, my boss, partner, and close we're friend. quite close here. That I was going to do this thing, and I was going to hire, start Top. hiring uh, Britons, Americans to come mm. work for us. In so Nigeria. you've got foreigners working with yeah, you. Yeah, we have a couple of partners. Wow! Yeah, in the country that work wow. with us. Wow! Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and she was like, "Forget it. It's, it's it may not be that easy." Mm. I kept it. Then in 2008, I told a senior friend I was going to set up my firm. He said, "Don't try it." That he tried it. He regretted it mm -hmm. second time. Then the third time, I told a cousin of mine, he had started his firm at that time, that I was going to start my own firm. I remember I met him on a I mean, I can never forget that they were in front of Access Bank on a I mean, and he said, boy, don't try it. Mm. Why? Why were they so discouraging, though? Because, because it's consulting. Real, the reality of the environment, of the, of the business environment in Nigeria, it's really very challenging. So how did you scale all of these challenges? Because you're big now. You're hiring expert rates. You have over 40 staff. To be sincere with you, I don't see myself as having done anything. Why? Because um, we are about seven, eight years now. And we, are just, we just have one location. Uh, we have just 40 consultants. Don't say just. How many local consulting firms can boast of that? And you're young. So that's a big deal. And you have, I know your clients, you know, we've talked and I know the kind of people you're advising and auditing. You're a big deal. Okay. Compa <laughs> okay, compare us to Apple. When did Apple start? And where are they today? They are motivation, they are... Okay, uh, so yeah, those, those are the, are the, guys bars, the looking, standards you've yeah, said. Fair enough. Those are the guys yeah. we're looking towards and they, they motivate us. There were times I had opportunity to go after money and to go after training. I, because of, I've had an idea of the hand in mind, I went after training. You're big training. on getting the training. training. So you knew one day 
you were going to start your own consulting no, and all I knew things. that even while I was in school. Because I was you an knew that you had those special competencies, those things that you... So what makes... Consulting is a very unique industry because as... As inanimate it, as it is, whereby you can't feel, touch, intangible. you know, it's yeah, intangible, it can actually break or make the biggest and smallest of companies. You guys actually determine the fate of, you know, these companies. What makes for a star quality consultant? What makes you a good consultant? Um, the number one thing is you must have an insatiable quest for excellence. Then number two, don't get tired of gathering perspective. When others are seeing three things about, let's pick this cup for example. Okay. If you are to describe this cup, if others are describing it in three words, try to look for 20 words to describe it. Mm, why? And that's perspective. Okay. Because it gives you further insight into the problem or the opportunities for improvement You're around the cup. You advise your client better. Right? Better that way. So what other things makes for a good consultant? That's a, we've talked about quest for excellence. Yes. We've talked talk about perspective. Yes. The other thing is hard work. Hmm. Hard work. Sleepless nights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't just escape that. Trust right. me. We were chatting a while back, and you mentioned something quite interesting about how you've actually, I know you do that once or twice a year. You get all your staff together. And you actually fly them to places like Dubai for London, retreats and London, London to the UK yeah. for trainings, yeah. retreats and you know, strategy sessions for your company. Why, why do you do that? Why do you invest so much? And why do you do such? Um, the biggest capital asset is still human. Okay. It's a human capital or human asset. And um, for us is leadership. We've had instances where we went for training offshore. We came back and four people left us at the same time. Two hmm. of the PwC. I flew you to of... London yeah. for a training yeah. to train you, and then yeah. you arrive and you give me your resignation That's letter. Yeah, yeah, that was actually what yeah, happened. Yeah, strong. That was actually what happened. And when um, my management team told me, I said, "Don't worry." Mm. That one way or the other, we've invested in those guys. Okay. And um, it goes back to Nigeria. Yes. You're yeah, giving yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say mm. thank you for investing mm. in the lives of Nigerians. I think you flying people out, training them, just gives them a sense of self worth that not too many firms, you know, are giving. And to think that is a young Nigerian doing all of this, I think it's amazing. Thank you so much. And. I'm excited. I've learned so much, you know, from this chat. And I know that some viewers, other people are also inspired to do what you're doing. You're not leaving yet, though, because it's going to be game time between Yemi Abali Johnson and Jane Michael. I cannot wait to see how that will pan out. See you in a bit. You're welcome back to the show, and like I said earlier, it's game time, guys, and I'm so excited. Today is between the consultants and the fashionistas. We're having Jane Michael go against Yemi Abalu Johnson, and I want to see who is going to slay this. Guys, are you ready? Jane, <laughs> are you ready? I'm pretending to be ready. <laughs> he had okay. given me a memo. Okay, so, okay, let's do this. Choose, do you want the word game or the song game? The song game. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody. <laughs> no, I'm a gentleman. So. Okay, that's, uh, you would actually do well in this. You want the song game? Uh huh. Okay, so it's, you're going to give us a song that has mama in it. And you will not stutter. You won't, you shouldn't, whoever stutters or delays has lost the game. So, I'm going to give you a few seconds to think. Of songs that have mama you'd sing it of course the line that has mama so we are sure you are saying the right thing and there's so many lullabies there's so many local songs so trust me it's not as hard mama mama it could be mama mother mommy you know so think guys you could do it you could do it it's the corporate against the fashion people who is going to win i can't wait to find out are you ready jane you go first Okay. Sweet mother, 
I no go forget. Okay, you. yeah. Who sat and watched my infant head? My mother Jane. Iyani wura bi e bi e. Okay, okay, okay. Iya o lolo lufemi o. Nice one. <laughs> Feel the mama. Hey. You know I like yes, it. Yes, so. Don't care, just you. Yeah, me. I stand for you. Uh huh. -uh. <laughs> Yeah, just... Wura. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, the and Jane, I love it. Can we just know that I'm excited? But you guys tried. At least we had about five or four, you know, rounds, and that was good. Yeah, well done. So the trophy goes to the fashionistas Woo! in Nigeria. Woo! No, Jane, you did well. Thank I you. I told so her I was going to let her get the game. Oh no, I'm a no, she Thank won. You. She won. Thank you. She won. Thank she won. Thank you didn't you. let her get it. The women won. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. It's been so amazing having you both on the show. We've learned so much. I'm inspired to, you know, be the best consultant. Well, maybe not me, though, but viewers, definitely. Whoever has been thinking of starting a consulting business definitely has the, you know, push that they need. Jane. Jane, thank you so much for, you. for just being you. Thank I'm, you. I'm in awe. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you for you having so. me. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, don't stop changing the game by being the best in whatever space you find yourself. Bye.